What up, fuck us? And welcome to the FBN Goob Show. I'm FB. And I'm the Goob. Sponsored by the Good Time Tavern of Livermore, California. How's the Goob? Oh, uh, fantastic. Fourth of July. Happy Fourth, Fourth of July, wearing everybody. Wearing colors, I see you are too. I got white and blue on. It's the best I could do. I'm wearing the rest of the red. You got the red. Red, white, and blue. And blue. All right. Fantastic. So, Fantastic. Yeah, everything everything was good. Nothing got burned down. So far that we know. Yeah, you know, children are all safe, as far as I know. So far as we know, yes. It's just, we've just watched the fireworks. Now we're here. They were nice. They were nice. It was fun. Lots of shows, lots of lots of booms and bangs. Yeah, I'm colorblind, so it, yeah, it's, didn't, it's all white to didn't, the goop. <laughs> didn't ring as well as it could have. Another white one. <laughs> Oh, there's another white one. They're all red, Goop. Why are they all the same? <laughs> They're all, it's all red and white. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. But yes, awesome. Awesome shows. I just enjoyed the barbecues and the friendship. And, and the chicken and the hamburger. Oh, the hamburger appetizers with the cheese, the lettuce, and the mayo, or the uh, Thousand Island with no top bun. Just like a nailed something it. you nailed it. Nailed it. It's fantastic. We got fancier. It's all good. We we've gotten a little fancier. Yeah. Who needs a top bun? Nobody. Nobody. Nobody needs the bottom bun. Apparently. <laughs> but top. But we. You need something to hold on to. So. That true. soaks up the grease. This is true. This is true. So. Uh, yeah. Everything. Uh. uh Fourth of July. How can you beat it? You can't. You can't beat Fourth of July. I mean, it's nothing fucked up about Fourth of July. No, there's not a lot, and I, I, don't, I almost feel bad going into the fucked up thing of the week, but it's just, it's kind of atrocious, but fun in the same thing. The, the, uh, the fucked up thing of the week involves, you know, some of our California teams, USC, UCLA. Oh, okay, yeah. And, yeah, it's uh, uh, totally s- fucked up, actually. Totally stupid, actually. I'll, I'll be honest with you, the, um... I don't know. It could be the beginning of the end or the of, end of the beginning. Of college it's, football. It's very... I mean... It's worrisome. I, I'm worried there will only be two conferences. I ho- I'm i hoping for four. Nah. But we are realizing that there might be some absorption, absorption of teams that... Uh, yeah, oh, UCLA and USC go to the Big Ten is stupid. I, I'm against it. I'm sorry. I... I, I you know, Big Ten is this little, it's Nebraska to Rutgers. It's just, you know, Notre Dame is actually in between Indiana and Ellen, you know, I mean. Of course. And so, they, they might be the key to this whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing. Like, That's yeah. why Oregon's sitting around waiting. Because yeah. until, they're not going to take, I, I mean, I don't know why we took it. I was, I didn't even, I was shocked. I was like, what? The fuck are you, the USC and UCLA is in the Big Ten now? There'll be no more Pac-10 soon. The Rose Bowl will be not important. The Sugar Bowl it doesn't matter if it exists. I mean, it destroys all the bowl stuff, even though it was pretty much already destroyed well, anyway. We, we started destroying the bowl stuff when we made the national championship. The only thing that mattered. But now it's going to be yeah. It's, now there's playoffs and then a bowl game that matters, and and the rest of the bowl games are just overshadowed by. <laughs> Some playoffs and a, and a fucking Super Bowl of college. So, yeah. I mean, I guess if you got rid of all... Now it's just the NFC and the AFC of college. Pretty much. It's, yeah, they're just going to make it the Super Bowl kind of stuff. Yeah, it, exactly. It's it. And whoever, if you're not in the NFL, a.k.a. you know Akron, some good football schools, a lot of decent teams. So if you make no it... Chance. If you make it... If you make it two divisions... Then you just, instead of goofing off anymore, you just make it the top. Now, I like more games. You just make it the top ten, five of each division. I mean, it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be disgusting. It's going to be the North versus South. It'll be SEC, Big Ten. I hate it. No. It, I, it, it doesn't make anything look good for the little schools, the the Trey Lances and Carson Wentz's oh, of the, the world. Absor- the absorption schools. The schools that go, hey, what division are you in? We're in the MAC West. No, no, you're in the Pac-10 because we don't have any schools anymore, so we took the best three from BYU, 
We took uh, uh, we took North Dakota State and Montana. Where we just and sucked you over, right? I mean, it is. It's it's just a big money grab, and it I don't is a like big it. Money grab. I, I mean, like I said, I couldn't find any more alligators eating people. Right. So this is kind of my fucked up thing. I I, I am I, I if it if if it wasn't alligators eating people, if alligators had a better TV deal, they would be in the Big Ten right now. This would be what I would choose for fucked up thing of the week because when I heard this and I saw this and I read into it and I looked into it, I thought to myself. Wow, this is this is bad for college football. Yeah, it's we're just keep heading down the same rabbit hole, basically. Yeah. So, and I and I and I'm, I don't agree with this, and there's nothing I can do to change it. But um, uh, if if next week you and I are sitting here talking about Notre Dame and Oregon going to the Big Ten, I'll be uh, right. And now, and now the Pac-10 has Washington, Oregon State, and. Oregon or 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 no or the Beavers, Washington, Washington State, and Fresno is Fresno in the pact? I mean, they're just gonna do TV cash things, and then they'll just redistribute all that. Those little places who can't pay for players to go to their school, no, nope. because they don't have enough car dealerships in Fresno to exactly. get enough money for players to show up in. It's all Lamar Odom's fault. It's all he about. wanted his number on the back of a video game one time, and that's it. And we all started paying for it. <laughs> now we have to pay everyone. Holy crap, that's unbelievable. Um, well, it's 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 only it's only going to get more fucked up in that area. This could it will. be it will. this could be the beginning of the show every time because this is only going to get for college football. It, I, I thought it was bad when uh, a player could make a million dollars. And I'm I'm sorry I I don't I, I I know hey get paid to play and I get that shit but I think you're you're walking a fine line there but now there's only two conferences left and only two left and it's the SEC and the Big Ten that's correct <laughs> no they need to fix this and not get crazy so yeah. and we and so we move on and so we move on well we move on to sports of the week it is sports it, of the week it's sports of the week and there's not a lot of, I mean listen we're getting we are looking for we are looking for bits and pieces when we say sports of the week. So uh, we got baseball. We that's, do. That's what we have right now. I don't um, want to talk about it. I am over. I'm so excited to talk about baseball that I don't know. I mean, we've gone from. I mean, what we've gone from. I mean, let's. You know what? Let's not get out of hand. Let's just say Yankees are still killing it, except for the Houston Astros, are now 14 games ahead. Of their second place team. Right. They got the biggest lead. Now. now they have the biggest lead. But the Yankees. Way more wins than they want. 59. The Yankees can win 60 before um, before um, before the break. The Dodgers could win 60 before the break, too. I think I saw. Maybe not. 50 before the break. No, Dodgers can win 50 before the break. And I think the Yankees can win 60 before the break. And I, I think the Yankees are on their way to 120 games. So yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't bring up the Dodgers because. Oh no! I have a whole segment on the Dodgers. It's called <laughs> Eight and a Half Now. Man, we. Couldn't, I mean, eight and a half. So we, we couldn't beat anyone. We couldn't beat the Cincinnati Reds. We couldn't beat the White Sox. Oh, I saw the, the White Sox. The Giants just got destroyed by everyone. Uh, and then. Uh, uh, out of God's graces, the Dodgers went three for four against the uh, uh, Padres and gave us a three and a half game lead on the. We're not that 13 14, no, no. but the Dodgers are on their way to being seven, maybe eight. I'm just happy it's a really long season. Do you have any closers? <laughs> absolutely. Do you do? Can you have any of ours? No, yeah, absolutely. Well, no, I asked that question because I. I you can I, have the one guy. Tyler Rogers, so you can have him. I mean, so, I mean, let's break down the week. Mookie Betts comes back. You lose your pitcher. What is he? De Scalafani? De Scalafani. De Scalafani for the season. He's gone for the Don't season. need him. Don't need him. No. Not, not worthless eight, anyway. Not eight and a half behind you, though. <laughs> I mean, I guess any arm helps, but yeah. no, nah, we don't need him. No yeah. big deal. No, it's not a big deal. No. Um, <laughs> Dodgers, of course. 
Austin Barnes, a little extension, two for seven. Two for seven years, I thought to myself. In baseball, that sounds like a fair salary. I mean, two for seven. Two for seven million? Phew. That's a deal. Take any time. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't see the Giants. The Giants are... I'm glad it's a long season. Uh, you are glad. You're glad that it's the break coming up now. You need the break. We do. Yeah. You need the break. We do. We need a break. You need the break more than anybody right now. And and we just need more TV coverage for the Centrals. Because, you know. Two and a half games, both divisions. They're exciting, right? They're very exciting. Yeah. Brewers, Cardinals, Guardians. I love that, Guardians. But the Guardians are in it. Two Guardians. And guard, two and a half back. Guardians. And, and I keep saying, that's like, a, that's in a movie. Somebody goes, Guardians. You know what I mean? No. Start hitting each other with pipes. No, for sure. And then um, twins, yeah. Twins and Guardians, Brewers, Cardinals. That's the that's the baseball to watch. I know. I got excited for a second. I thought Pirates might be in it. No, but they are. They're up. Way behind. They're way behind. Yeah. It's uh, Dodgers, Padres right now. I mean, Giants eight and a half back. That's that's that's. It could be twelve in two weeks. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're definitely looking for a little bit of a win streak. Uh, you, that's why you brought up the big power hitter. That's right. Villa. That's right. Right. Sure. Big Bring power infielder. Big yes. Powerful first baseman. Infielder. Yes. <laughs> and we don't even know what position he plays. Big guy. Home runs. Home runs. Boom. Spe speaking of hitting the ball. Don't even worry about it. Speaking of hitting the ball very fast. Uh, Wimbledon. Americans got two remaining. Yes. For a while there, Americans were looking good. I mean, Serena got beat. She got beat. Well, as expected. I'm on the woman's side. On the and woman's then, side. Uh, yes, Ansimova, Amanda Ansimova. Amanda Ansimova. Has revenged Serena. So she beat the French girl. She did. So she revenge. Beat the French girl. Nice. Um, four players left, I believe. For the Americans, the Americans have two left, right? Fitz or Fritz? Correct. Fritz. Yes, Fritzy on the men's side. <clears throat> right. Only that Nadal is like ranked at all left. So it's Fritz, Nadal, and then two other unranked players. So I would say we have a decent shot to make a little noise. Well, when you talk ranked and you talk about, I think a lot of the ranked people that are still ranked are getting older. And it's a very po good possibility that you lose a tennis match because. The young kid has a good game, or a good a good match, you know. So I, I don't know. I'm just agree. Agree. I mean, I just I'm just saying. My uh, favorite guy though is the Australian Curios. Oh, I like Curios. Uh, so yeah, so he's still out there too. Dude, I seen him make a shot where he was like, I don't know if he was walking away, but he like clicked it back through under his legs. This was just the last match of Wimbledon, the one where he got a the dude hit the ball into the crowd. So exactly. and he did the shot where it was like between. The, Almost insulting, you know what I mean? Like I'm just throwing a little. He's a bit of a showboat. He's fun. A little little yeah. salt on the wound, or I don't like you. Here's kind of an. And the dude hit the net. He returned it and hit the net. Like, yeah. oh man, that dude did that shot, and you hit the net. That's embarrassing. And then then later on, he swung and yeah. hit into the crowd and mind games. Right? Right, man. Dennis Rodman of. He's the Dennis Rodman of of, of tennis. I like it. Yeah, no, the fans, yeah. Yeah. So now we go on to other not very exciting sports. Dude, listen, it's a big deal to me. So, I listen, I hung this on the wall because in my heart, this is, I was a diehard racing fan for, for more than you can, meant more years than you can count. And then Jeff Gordon retired, and I never, I struggled to watch another race. It was just, I didn't have any, anything in it. So, this year I started to just watch races. We were talking about the podcast, and I, I, I'll watch races. Maybe we can bring it in. And it just, I, I just couldn't do Pocono. I like, oh, shit, fucking stupid ass track. And then I watched a dirt race, and I said, oh, shit, they added a dirt race. And then, of course, the road courses I knew down the street at Sonoma and Finneon. And then this week, it was another, another road course, and I turn it on, and I'm trying to fucking what the fuck road course is this? I'm like, is that Watkins Glen? No, it's not Watkins Glen. No chicane. Nothing like crazy. And I thought, oh shit, what race is this? And it was in it was in Wisconsin. The the, the some road course in Wisconsin. Brand new one, huh? Brand not well, no. I think uh, I think Indy raced on it. I think I've seen it before. So but to NASCAR, for me it was brand new. I just stopped watching because Jeff was gone. 
So, listen, I had to... Tyler Reddick, man. I have now decided that I can put another hat on and another shirt on. I watched this kid race. I watched what I felt was... So, like, we're doing news, right? Did he win the race? He won the race. All right. He won the race, and not only did he win the race, so that's the he won the heart of FB. Oh, man. And I am now... And, and, it's, and, and I not only think that it's... I watched... Right? He won my heart. And I can now choose another racer, because it's taken whatever 10 years to even consider watching a race because Jeff Gordon's not racing anymore and and I met somebody at a fair like the year after Jeff quit racing and we were both fans together and, and he was just wearing like an Elliott jersey and like hey go go DuPont I'm like DuPont I'm gonna fuck, give a fuck about DuPont I gave a fuck about Jeff I like Jeff Gordon I never saw the shirt he could have been in a goddamn Bugs Bunny shirt for all I gave a shit and I'd have been fine so Tyler Reddick won the race and I am now a Tyler Reddick fan. And not only just because he won the race, I watched him win the race, I watched him race the race, and I was really, I saw this guy, and I thought to myself, I saw that guy and that guy. So, so NASCAR. So you saw America. I saw you total, saw, I saw total yeah. America when I watched this guy race. And not only that, he's driving Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s old car, and he races for RCA. And I'm, I, I can be an RCA guy. So, I'm in. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that kind of closes out our little updates of the week because America, USA. USA. The soccer team. Under 20. Under 20s. Oh, we look good. Yes. Yes. We did. We destroyed Honduras. We destroyed Honduras. Destroyed them. Six nothing. Six nothing. Yes. So our bet of the Pistons and USA soccer in four years from Keeps now. Keeps looking better. Keeps looking better. Keeps looking better. Because I'm going to talk. And, ba and basketball, we're going to talk. Oh, that's coming soon. Oh, we could do it now. Maybe just right now. Okay, so USA Soccer, Paxton Harrison. Paxton Harrison. That's the man. That's the man. His, his uh, older brother plays on Team USA. That's uh, da Daniel? What's his, what's his older brother? Oh, I wrote it down. What's his older brother's name? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Paxton is the is the under 20, and we are, we're going to win this. We're going to do this. We're going to win this. We're going to win this. The parlay is you coming true. United States Soccer is going to be something to be reckoned with in 2026. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so are the Detroit Pistons. So let's just, you know, let's just say that we watched an insane week of free agency. <laughs> but, I mean, Rudy Gobert got traded for half a team's life. For the next 10 years. For the next, and, and on a team that doesn't fucking need a center. Yeah. I, I'm, I don't know. A lot of cash thrown all over the place. Max I mean, contracts for everybody. Hold on to Zion Williamson. Well, I, I was, I, I thought he wouldn't even. I didn't even think they'd pick up his fifth fucking year, and they signed him to the max, hundred ninety three million, million dollars. More millions than baskets made, or something like that. More millions <laughs> than minutes played. That's <laughs> for fucking sure. Right? Because he didn't even play last year. So uh, that's an insane extension. $193 million sitting next to you doing a podcast and just uh, happy. And that guy just ate ice cream and fucked out $193 million. No, I don't get it. I mean, I hope I, I, I hope the best for him because I, I thought he was, I wanted the Knicks to draft him. And then he, I thought to myself later on, thank God the Knicks didn't draft that guy. Shit, that guy's terrible. Not terrible, but not. Three, three team trade where you get either Durant or Zion. I'll and take, just send I'll, all the left-handed players somewhere else. Well, fuck, it's Barrett, Brunson, and Randall. That's the three best players we have on the fucking team. Oh, yeah, that's right. And I'm still not happy that's about I'm still not happy about the Brunson thing, man. I don't know. I, I, I thought if you could have gotten anybody in the, tra in the free agency. They paid him a lot. Slightly more than Dallas was offering. A whole year's worth of contract. A whole year, kind of, yeah. Yeah, like a whole lot. I was like, you can have We'll give you five years for the <laughs> same amount of money as the Knicks will give you four years for. He was like, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take the four. So you're saying in four years, if I'm really good, I can get a lot more? Yeah. I'll take that. I, yeah. I'll just take that. I mean, I, I, I did the math. And first of all, they're going to pay me more for less years. So that's right away. And second of all, I could get more money quicker. So, because you get maxes after that. and Right, well, you're open so that no one can guard left-handed players as a Knicks fan. Or, now you got Brunson. 
And random. Naga Joy is random. We've always had him. But RJ yes. Bear has not been saved yet. <laughs> he has not. We tried last week to save him. We tried. We said, they're going to get Brunson. Run, motherfucker! <laughs> Sign anywhere. <laughs> Just refuse to come back! Because that's the best they can do. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I, I just... We haven't been wrong much, though. That's the problem. That's what's wrong. Is that we're not wrong much, and now I'm saying... We're not wrong again. I just... I don't know. I'm, I'm having a hard time with it. Mitchell Robinson's back. Right. Isaiah Hartenstein. The, which, which they say is a somebody who passes well and who is a good score if you pass me the ball, if I'm inside and I can... So he's a good finisher. So they said he might help out some assists for one player and and he, he might have some quality minutes off the bench. Yeah, totally. That's something. It is something. It's something. It's it's not it's not terrible. I mean, we didn't trade half our life away for Rudy Gobert. Honestly, I would have I thought Rudy Gobert was a maybe a top thirty player. He plays good defense, but I mean, come playoff time, he's not going to win you a championship, will he? It's a lot of first round draft picks. Uh, 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 a center that I said now Towns is a guard. Now Towns just carries the ball up the court. Right. Well, you can see what the stands off on the wing to shoot three pointers. You can see Gobert, <laughs> Edwards, and Towns. And Towns. So you, that's their big three, right? That's their big three. So but the, two of them are too big. I don't know if they can stop the the Warriors. I don't know. I mean, every what everyone is doing is not going to work. The Warriors are gonna not work. against the Warriors. The Warriors you can't too much emphasis. if they put Poole, Curry, Clay Thompson, Kaminga, and 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 Wiseman on the floor. Then they're way smaller, way faster. We well, trade Wiseman. You have a center that's left handed too. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Nah. I don't need Drew and Sons right now. No. Nope. We can't have all, all left handed scene. <laughs> They'll just defend the left handed side. Can anybody go right? Not one of these fucking guys. They'll miss. They'll just, they'll just, they'll, it, they're not Michael Jordan. They can't hold the ball in either hand. And so, I don't know. Now. I'm telling you right now that Towns and Gobert, I don't think fit up. I, Towns to the Knicks. Too many tall people. Too many tall people. I always say too many tall people. Too many tall people. If Steph Curry can take one side to the left and go switch for three points and then turn around and run back, that tall guy went, what the fuck happened? I don't know what happened. What happened? That guy, just that little guy, he went and he, and it was a switch. And then he ran back the other way. Three points for that team. Fuck. So, and fuck Detroit. Fuck Detroit. I, you know what? If you guys are going to be the best team in the East in three years. I agree. The Nets, I don't think we have to argue about that. The Nets did their experiment and are now the worst team in NBA. And they had Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, and Harden. And are done in three years. What happens when you try to sell the Canadian owners from Russian owners? It's all chaos. All I'm saying is it's not it's 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 how they did it. They tried to build a team on cancerous players. Oh, yeah. And what? you are building a team through a draft, like Philly tried, but just kept trying to get the... The Warriors have. The Warriors have. The Warriors continue to the pool. They're just adding to the pool. We've already said it. They're just adding to the pool all the time. So, and, I, and, and for the first time in a little while, I actually seen a team that I prayed was the Knicks, and it wasn't. Nah. Do the right thing. Not the Knicks. Unbelievable, man. All right, but anyway, I think we should go to uh, the NFC East and start. I'm, our, uh, I'm ready. So we're going to start. With, ladies and gentlemen, FB and the Goob is going to do FB and the Goob. all eight divisions for the next eight weeks. And we are going to put, because I think we have eight weeks left until that wonderful, beautiful moment happens when the first Thursday night football game of the week starts. And, uh, and our life changes. Nobody can tell me right now that when kickoff happens on the first game that your life doesn't... There's like this... Like a whole thing of relief ends. He's not I'm ready. Here. Fantasy football draft? Regular football? Anything. Love our fantasy football draft. Can't wait. Not, I cannot wait for 23 years of fantasy football. So we are going to start at the NFC, NFC East. Is our starting zone. 
we thought, hey, let's just start with the worst division of football and end with the best division of football. And so we'll start in the East Coast. Um, so I'd like to start personally with the Giants. Or I'd like to start with, what are we starting with here? The, the, two, I like the two teams that have, have, have did the best in the draft, that made the biggest upswing. Yeah, I mean, the whole division is just kind of, it's always been a little shaky. Maybe yes. it's the Cowboys, maybe somebody else. So I think the offseason this year was very important. I do. And there's a couple teams, I mean, I think we disagree. Well, I think we disagree on who's going to win the division. But I don't think we disagree on on who did the best. The most improved teams? I mean, I, I, I don't know if I can argue with... I think the Giants did the best. I think between Thibodeau, O'Neal, Wayne Dale Robinson, and the tight end kid out of... Um, or no, the other lineman out of North Carolina. I think they built... I think they drafted better than any other team. You're getting booed. I know I'm getting booed. I know. And then, and then the addition of Tyrod Taylor, I think, was one of the smartest additions. The one big question mark you have is a quarterback. So you picked up a quarterback that has proven himself in the NFL over and over and over and over again. So, I don't know. I think they were so low in every category. I think that, I mean, they were like 31st and 32nd in most defensive categories. There's almost no way for them to have improved Not, less. That's what I mean. So when you say improved, I'm like the 32nd and 31st in most defense categories. Thibodeau is going to help that. Um, they their their offense was horrible. Their blocking was horrible. So the two offense linemen, it's got to help. So just as bad as they were, that's why I say they're the better team. You want to say that the Eagles are the better team? I agree with what you mean by the Eagles improving a lot by what they got, but they were also the number one running team in football. So. Somewhere they're not improving. The Giants just truly needed to improve. Well, I just every category. I just think in general that you know the Eagles were way better than pretty much anyone. Cowboys may be on par, obviously. Correct. Cowboys on par for Cowboys, but the Eagles improved everywhere that they were lacking. You know, run defense, another cornerback. Um, they had another receiver, Jalen Hurts, is now his third year, and I. No, I agree. Do you not agree that he's going to be... Well, this is his question here. We said that at the beginning of uh, the creation of this show, that this is a question here. It is one and done. Like, if he messes this one up. Tua... I don't think he messes this one up. And Hurts. That's our one and done's this year. Two and Hurts. That's all I'll take Hurts. The the two Bamas. All day long. The two Bama boys. Yeah. This is their one year to prove themselves. Um... I, I agree with run defense. If Jordan Davis is what Jordan Davis should be, then the run game or the run defense should should be helped out a lot. The Eagles have all the layers ready. They got the defensive line. They got cornerbacks, a couple safeties. Like, well, they, I truly believe the Eagles are the class. I the agree. Division. I believe that N'Kobe Dean they picked up. I believe they said that that could be a steal in the draft. Just a random, really, really, really good linebacker they could throw in. In the eighty sixth pick or some shit like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. No, Third, that works. Third round, N'Kobe Dean from Georgia. Right. Since every other Georgia defensive player has been taken, already been taken, and, and, and him with a chip on his shoulder, thinking to himself, "That was the best fucking defensive player on that team." You know, I mean, that's how I feel that he's coming in. You know what I mean? I think he's coming in bitter, to be honest with you. Out of all the players, I mean, Wyatt went, Walker went, I'm I'm sure a quarterback went, I'm sure another defensive lineman went, and then another linebacker, and then, out of nowhere. I would not want to make him mad. I don't think I would want to make him mad at all. A.J. Brown, of course, you're right. He's going to help the offense. They picked up Zach Paschal out of free agency, and I think of Zach Paschal as your slot third receiver. Or in there, I think... No, that's not bad because I think I think the kid is going to shine. I'm not saying that I don't think that the Eagles are not going to be a way better team this year. I just said that that the Giants were really fucking bad last year, and I think they got <laughs> they were it. bad. And I think they've picked up some pieces to make Saquon Barkley look better. Two offensive linemen in the top four. That's going to make Saquon look good if they can run block. You know what I mean? It's, you're happy about that. 
Damn. Penn State all the way. I think Daniel Jones isn't going to hurt from it. I mean, I really don't. I mean, so, but I do agree. Uh, the Eagles do look good. I, I think that, you know, I, I, I hope they have the number one rushing offense again. I just, you know, that's... <laughs> Their defense is going to be a lot better. They that they picked somebody else up. Oh, they picked up that Hassan Reddick from the Panthers. And he had twenty three and a half sacks. He had twenty three and a half sacks in the last two years. So, uh, it, and their pass rush was like thirty first last year. So he must be doing something right. That is automatically going to help the, the the Eagles out. So sure. So maybe winning the division that helps the Eagles, but becoming the most improved team in the division. I think since the Giants only had one win, if they get four wins and the Eagles only add one win to what they did win, Giants did way better. Uh, how about the two teams that I don't think did very good at all? <laughs> well, I mean, the Cowboys just suck. They're just the worst. I know. You want to just... They lost all sorts of offensive linemen. Here we go. Ricky, hype it up. <laughs> well, they lost Cooper for sure. They uh, lost what? Two offensive linemen. Two offensive linemen. They replaced them with a bunch of old people. Well, uh, no. They're, 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 well, the first pick in the draft. C. D. Lamb uh, hasn't even practiced yet. None of the other receivers are running. I don't think C. D. Lamb needs to practice. I mean, I know you're beating on them. Every, I know you want to beat them. The first pick in the draft for them was that Tyler Smith, that uh, offensive lineman. Yeah. So I mean, they replaced one offensive lineman with a rookie. They took that. Uh, they took that edge player Sam that uh, uh, Sam Williams, and he was rated higher than he got drafted. So he was. Listen, I'm, I know you don't like the. I'm just saying, Cowboys <laughs> were fifth in offense and seventh on defense in the rankings last year in that range. So they didn't need as much help as the Eagles, and uh, well, no, they're going to be terrible. You think it would be terrible? Yep. There's a whole lot of uh, whole lot of mess going on. Coaching staff McCarthy is going to try to run the offense. Ezekiel is probably too old to oh. run the ball anymore. Well, I don't think he's too old to run the ball anymore. I think McCarthy running the offense is a bad idea, but I don't think Ezekiel running the ball anymore is a bad idea. Um, you know, that's my own personal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't draft him. I, I wouldn't draft him in fantasy. I wouldn't. The last three years, you shouldn't have taken him. If you took him in the last three years of football, I had you year. were pissed. I was pissed. That that was your first round pick. I'm like, fuck, man, this guy's sucking it up. Damn it. This is killing me. So, uh, Cowboys, though, I mean, I don't know. They got that uh, Deontay Flower Jr. Fowler Jr. I mean, I don't know. I'm just trying to help, you know, I mean. It's my new nickname for you. Fowler or Fow Flower? Deontay Flower Jr. Yeah, you should call me Flower Jr. No, Fowler. I mean, they picked him up. I mean. They lost Gregory. They picked up Fowler. But they have Mike. But yeah, but you and I both. They got Parsons. And you and I both have never compared anybody to Lawrence Taylor. And now we're comparing this kid to him. So that I mean, says a lot. Random question, though. Would you rather have him just line up a defensive end and just tech quarterback every play? Or do you want him to just roam and be like a Mike Singletary type Derek Thomas? No, I want guy? him to be like Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor. Just line him right there and, and be like, try to block me. Kill every play. Just yeah. try to block me. Disrupt every play instantly. That's what Lawrence Taylor did. Nah. You could hand the ball off, Lawrence Taylor was cutting across the line, tackling your ass. You could go back to throw a pass, and Lawrence Taylor was breaking your leg. I mean, I, if we're comparing him to who I feel is in the top three defensive players of all time. Yeah. Hands yeah. down. Like, scariest human beings you ever met on a football field. My uh, goodness, he, he makes me nervous. He makes me nervous. If I met Lawrence Taylor, I'd be a little sketchy. I'd be like, oh, shit, yeah. just try to get through this moment. Same thing. Yeah. Michael Parsons. I meet him, I'm, like, hopefully he's playing over there. On yeah. Play. No, yeah. He's, he's at the other field, right? Yep. Oh, okay. I feel a little better. Shoo -wee. Yeah, shoo wee. So I don't. I don't know. I, I can't. I, I. I can't. I. I can't disregard the Giants be, or the Cowboys because of players like him and because Prescott will throw the ball all day. And but I'm not arguing that the Eagles aren't going to win the division. I'm not. But it's going to be a coin toss. Yeah. But we know who's not going to win the division is the Commanders. They're Carson not, Carson Wentz is not leading. I don't believe he's leading. I mean. If you look at the rankings for the 
the, the Redskins, they were in the middle of everything. Defense was in the middle. Offense was in the middle. Heineke was, you know, running a decent... Everything looks fine. Everything looks... I mean, I mean, you're not winning a Super Bowl with Taylor Heineke. No. No. You're not. I mean, the world knows that. We know this. So, Carson Wentz is who they would have got. Slightly better, but... Slightly better, scary. but could be in the same position as ten, Heineke here in a year. You know what I mean? Like a, a, a second string quarterback. A Wentz has not proven one time. He The team he was on that he got drafted was Nick Foles won the Super Bowl, not Carson Wentz. Now, Nick just, Foles made so, many, so much money off that deal. Off that deal. He's that was the, brilliant. He's the Super Bowl guy. Do I think that the Redskins tried to help some of them help themselves? Well, I mean, they got Wentz in the trade. I don't think that helped anybody. Their defense was in the top 17 or 18 of defenses. You know what I mean? So, or, oh, no, actually, the defense overall was 25th and the offense was 17th. But the defense was number one almost the year before. So there's just some pieces missing. You know what I mean? They got that kid on the outside. We should maybe save him someday. Hopefully soon. Yeah, Young should be saved, maybe. Hmm. Good old Chase. Good old Chase. I like. You know what? He's a Bosa, or a Nick, or a. I mean, he's an Ohio State kid, and they and they, yeah, he should be saved. Um, but you know, we're not gonna save him today, are we? No, no, we're not gonna save him today. So, uh, so the Redskins here. Yeah, I don't know. Other than that, Dotson kid and Mathis and Robinson, uh, they picked up two Alabama players. That was their second and third picks in the draft. Were both from Alabama. So always smart. Always smart. Packers picked up a bunch of Georgia defensive players. Always smart. Always smart. Well, yeah. Right now, anyways, recently. Right now, that's smart. Sure. That's a smart move to do. So. Or Herschel Walker. He's playing defense. Um, yes, yeah, so or Herschel. Yeah. He's Georgia. I just thought he I'd is throw Georgia. It. I thought I'd throw it in there. Just, yeah, he's having a hard time. She's trying to be a political person now. He he did too much wrong as a football player. That's like Michael Irvin trying to become a football player. Mike's not going to try to become a football player. He did cocaine everywhere. Nobody's going to. There's nobody going to fucking. Nobody's going to vote for Mike. Nobody's going to vote for you either once they find out that you fathered 17 children and that you were never in any of their lives and that you did, you know, I don't know. Nice try, buddy. I know you're a Republican, but it, that's easy to be. <laughs> Just because you're famous doesn't mean shit. So, um,. Yeah, I don't know. I think I think if, who who's gonna win the NFC East? Finalizing the NFC East prediction. Finalizing it. Let's do it now. Oh, Finalize. I, I think for sure it goes Eagles. Eagles. And then not the Cowboys. Not See, the Cowboys. Not the Cowboys. So Eagles, Cowboys. No Eagles, not the Cowboys. Not the Cowboys. Reds. No, sorry, Commanders. The Cowboys have to be in one of those places other than last. last. The Giants aren't going to be fucking third. No, 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 you convinced me with your whole argument that the Giants had a good offseason. I thought the Giants had a great offseason. So I think they passed. Any the New Cowboys. York Giant fans that out there should be happy yep. with what the Giants did this year. Yep. yep, they passed up the Cowboys. So did the Commanders. Cowboys last. I think you'll find out about Jones this year. I think Saquon Barkley will either be re-signed by the Giants or... Uh, Metcalf off the fucking team. I don't. I'm just saying. You know what I mean. I'm just. It's either it's make or break for him. It's make or break for Daniel Jones. I think they've given him some helpful pieces to do it. But they're still last in the division. Probably. Eagles, Cowboys, Commanders, Giants. Fair. One team makes the playoffs. Eagles. Eagles. And the best fantasy yeah. player from that division. The best fantasy player from that division. Oh man. I'm gonna. If, are we just talking total points? Yeah. I'm gonna I mean, say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. All right. I'm thinking Tony Pollard. I think Ezekiel Elliott breaks, breaks all his legs. So you're saying Pollard? I'm and, saying Hurts. And Pollard is the best. Yeah. Oh, I always say Hurts because Hurts gets a lot of snaps and he runs. And now with the addition of AJ Brown. I mean, great pick. Yeah, I. I, I, I would have said Hurts, but I just wanted to be funny because. Boo Zeke Boo. Boo Zeke Boo. I know. Right. So you want to do Tony Pollard? I, I, you know, I, so I keep telling the Cowboys to start Tony Pollard at a constant. So if you were to tell me Tony Pollard got the most smart fantasy move. points, I'd be like, oh, that makes sense. It'd be a smart move. You know, would he get 126 yards a game, a touchdown, and four passes for 40? But Hurts, 
if everything goes right for him, I would assume gets the most fantasy points in that division. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So we have we have literally covered the NFC East. I think so. So I, mean, I think we could it, talk more about how the Cowboys suck, but no, we don't need to go there. No, I think it's time to save a player. Yes. I think, yes. It, I think it has reached that segment of the show where FB and the Goop save a player. And um, I think it's pretty easy this week. Uh, it's Mike Trout. Mike, call us. Seriously. You guys were in first place. You guys are in third place. You're like... For somebody who is doing what you're doing on the team, which is batting well... Crushing it. Uh, hitting home runs. Second home runs. Probably fielding pretty well. I mean... He doesn't drop a ball. Do you don't drop a ball. I'm thinking the Dodgers can then sponge your contract right now. And you don't even have to move houses. I think the Dodgers would suck his contract in. I think they'd be like, who's contract Mike Trout? And they would go... And they would just suck right into the team. It would be nice to see Mike Trout on actual TV instead of... It'd be nice to see Mike Trout in the World Series. Well, don't you think Mike Trout should be in the World Series? Well, I, mean, I, I think Mike Trout should be in the World Series. Mm-hmm. Out of, I mean, Bryce Harper should maybe make it to a conference championship or something. Bryce, I do think you should get close. But Mike Trout should be in a fucking World Series. At least We should out. watch Mike Trout. That's like watching Reggie Jackson in the World Series. It's like watching Mike Trout in the World Series. So, I, I, I think it's... Dude, get he the... Needs, he needs to get out of Anaheim or... I, I don't, Anaheim. I, I, don't th- I don't think the Astros are slowing down. And I don't think the Angels are catching them. And I don't think you're going to the playoffs. And, and I think that whatever high you were on in the first 40 games, or 24, whatever, when you were kicking everybody's ass, that high did not last. I don't... Dude. Dodgers, Yankees. Pick a team... Get sucked a most just like yeah. into the team and then be the starter. Get thirty more home runs. You know how many Trout jersey would sell if he went to the Yankees? Hundreds of eight millions. Trillion. So I'm saying it's time to save a player. It's time to not see that fucking that guy end up being an angel, man. That's like eh. go to the Cardinals. He needs- at, least, at least the Cardinals have a run and win World Series here and there. He needs one of the books to announce his name, you know, in the world. So yes. Joe Buck, Buck Sr., Joe Buck Sr. Jr. And, yes. Anybody. He needs to go to a world, he needs to go to a world series. I'm sorry. Deal. I, 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 I'm heartbroken. If, old. If, if, if Trout, not an old Trout. I don't want to see a fucking Roberto Cologne Trout. I am 42, still fucking playing. Uh, I made it to the world series, mom. Mom's dead. All right. You're she playing. died years ago, you old fuck. I mean, I want to see a this this Mike Trout. Prime. Prime, Prime Mike Trout. Dodgers. You know how many Dodgers Mike Trout jerseys would sell? Hundreds of millions. It's the same, bro. Talk to the Angels. Get the fuck out. Because the Yankees and the Dodgers are right now are only teams that are going to pay you. And then you get to go to a World Series. So, uh, Mike Trout, I'm saving Mike Trout. I was going to try to say Bradley Beal, but Mike Trout did it. Bradley Beal made his own decision. He did. He, he made did. his own he fucking his decision. Own choice. You chose to sign that. You chose to stay with Washington. Washington sucks. You're not going to win anything. Yep, sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Um, we maybe save you someday, though. We might not have anybody else to say. Right. So, fan appreciation, because that is my other favorite segment. Save Mike Trout. Let's appreciate fans. Let's appreciate fans. Uh, Joe B., once again, man, you just keep showing up with these great comments. Um, yes, it was great audio, and it was great video, coast to coast. Thanks, Joby. And, uh, coast to coast. Coast to coast, man. And and Jill Adams. Nice. I agree. Jill, it was nice. It was nice. It was nice to do it. Oh, she was my Disney driver when I went back east. She took me to see all my friends. So during coast to coast, Jill, you kept Goob alive. Get me alive. Took me to the cider place. Took me to the bar with the chicken wings. And we were able, able to do this show this week just because of that. Jill, shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Um, uh, you got any real shout outs? Because I got one. 
I can't find it anywhere in video. I saw it one time, but I got one. Nah, maybe. They got a shout out. Here's to the Pickles mascot. Shout out to taking down the streaker. Who was in underwear anyways. But still, the guy bounces out of the field. He runs up to like the fielder, the outfielder, and shoots at Snappy with him, right? So, Snappy, you know, and then he's running, but he's like looking to, he's running. And he's like, fuck you, home plate. And from third baseline comes Mr. Pickle. Mr. Pickle. Well, he's the Pickle's mascot, so I'm going to call him Mr. Pickle. Magic. Smashes! Smashes this guy. This guy stops dead in his tracks, collapses to the ground. Now there's a big giant pickle laying on top of the streaker. Shout out to the pickles mascot for not taking any shit from that streaker and getting him off the field. I don't know where the goddamn security was or where anybody else was, but the pickles mascot. Winner. Winner. Had him contained. <laughs> Got your back, cop. Got your back. You got a shout out? Uh, do I? I don't think so. I don't got a shout out either. I did have, I have my pickle shout out. There was, I, some, <laughs> there was something about, uh, no, designated drivers. Designated drivers is, oh, well, Joe got her shout out for being designated drivers, apparently. She did. Shout out to you. Shout out to all designated drivers to get us all home safe. Exactly. And that leads me into, uh, you know, inflation, basically. Oh, inflation. Yeah, I feel bad for you. Uh, I feel bad for you, uh, designated drivers paying the gas. Because inflation will follow you everywhere. Where it won't follow you, though, is the good time to have live more California. Well, we don't, they don't believe in inflation. They just believe in a good time. Just because the rest of the world sucks doesn't mean they do, too. That's right. No inflation at the tavern. No inflation. And with that being said, peace. Have a good night. Later.